Hello Bloomers, it's me, Lady T, and this is Lady T Creations. So if you watched my last video, then you know about my challenge. Subscribe and hit the notification button right now. And comment LTC down in the comments below for a chance to get a shout out and a bracelet dedication of your very own. Speaking of which, our shout outs for our three lucky winners are Zoe Roberts who was who commented on uh, the video first who uh, like within seconds the second person is looming band fan and the third is the questioner so this first bracelet dedication is going to be for looming band fan so congratulations you are getting the starburst flower charm dedicated to you so for this design you will need a rainbow loom, a hook, and 14 bands. Two for a cat band and well two for cat bands. Six of one color for your inner part and six for your outer part. So for the outer part, aka the border, I am using jelly yellow. So you just want to put it going from the left and to the right like you normally start your border and instead of going all the way down and closing off the bracelet you just want to go down one side on the left and one side on the right and then you want to close it off going upwards from the left and upwards from the right so you should have something that looks like this once you have done that part next you want to add your bands and you're going to start from here and you're going to go one and you're going to go from towards the right all the way up to the left like so so once you have added all your bands like that you are going to push it down a little and you're going to take your first cap band and you're just going to twist it and put it in the center. You're only going to twist it once to double, uh, make it look like a double band. Anyways, now you're going to take your hook and you're going to go down in this center peg. I'm going to flip the loom like this so I can get a better, a better anchor goal. So go down and grab your first blue band on the top and you're just, or whatever your first color band is, and just take it to the peg. So mine would be right here. Next, you're going to go down and basically loom these from the bottom left. So it, this goes from the bottom left corner all the way up to this final peg right here. So you're just going to continue doing this process until you have finished it. If your bands are giving you trouble like mine are, then you're just going to be patient. So that makes three. This band. And then do the final two. That one. And this one. Okay, so once you have had it loomed into what looks like a flower, if you can see it, I have no idea if you all can. You are wanting to. Take it and go down in your bottom peg, well, your bottom blue, and you are going to loom these two bands up to the top. And make sure that your band doesn't slip. So, loom one to the left and one to the right. Then you're going to go down within all of them on the, this is uh, the left, you're going to go down in. Hold up, go down in this up, put it front and center, do the same on the right, so go down, get the bottom yellow, and lift it up. Then I'm going to turn it around it to this angle, where you are going to go down in that band right there, and you are wanting to go down and get that yellow, and lift it up, and over to this peg and then do the same on this side like so okay so once you have loomed all 
13 of those bands. Well, there's 12 that you loomed, and then there's one cat band. So once you've done something like that, I'm just giving you guys a closer view. You want to basically, sorry about the camera trouble, I'm having issues. So, you're going to take your white band, you're going to stick your peg down in hook down in this peg, grab the white band, pick it up, and you're basically going to pull one side through the other and get a slip knot and just pull off all your bands to get, drumroll, a starburst flower charm that looks like this. Okay, next you want to get more bands because we are going to be doing the Starburst Flower Bracelet now. Okay, for this bracelet right here, you want to have a rainbow loom, your hook, and you're basically going to be doing a whole bunch of Starburst Flower Charms in the actual, into an actual bracelet. So, the way you do so is you want to take your first six bands, so for my first six bands, I am using Jelly Green. I don't know if you guys can see that. So you're basically going to do what you did last time. So go to the left and to the right, go up once on the right, up once on the left, and then close it off, going from the left to the center, right to the center. And then I am going to take one of my black bands and I am going to put it going forwards. Like that. Then you are going to take your next border band. What? No. You're not actually going to do that yet. I got ahead of myself. You want to take a si uh, six bands and go ahead and do your first. So, go one, two, three, four, five, ooh, five and six. Go on there, go on the peg, go on the peg. Push that down in the center and then take your black band. Do a figure eight and just slide the cat band on to it like that. So that's how your first one should look. Then you are going, I'm turning it sideways so you all can see it better. You want to take a, I'm taking a color that matches my cat band and putting it going forwards. One, one band going forward. Then you want to take your next border bands. For this, I am going to be using orange, as you all can see right here. And you are going to be going to the left and right, well, left and right. Go up on your left, go up on your right, right here. Then go from your left up and from your right one go come on go up okay and then you want to have a find a band that you want to put in the middle for this I am going to be using six violet bands so put that there so and then you're going to do the exact same thing you did with your last six bands, which is you're going to do them into an asterisk type thing, like that. Then you're going to take your another cat band, twist it, and do the exact same thing. Push down in the center and put that on. Then take up another black band and t put it running. Sorry, my band came out of off of the peg and just put it like that so 
basically just do it until you reach the end of your loom. I will come back once I have done my other two. You should have four of these total, so if you don't, then you ha did something wrong. So I will be right back. Okay, so I have officially reached my final one, but I was just, I came back to show you all how to do it one last time, so if you forgot, then you know how. So, real quick, for this one, I used Jelly Band Red and a metallic type yellow, and then I used white for my border, and I was about to use, um, pink for my center. Sorry. I had a one. Uh, I had a one check mind that went blank for a second. So you want to take and put it going like. I don't know if this is counterclockwise or counterclockwise. If you know the answer, then please comment down below so I know. And just do one more. Oh, and I forgot to say. This bracelet is dedicated to Zoe Roberts, who was one of my shoutouts. Then just take the band, do a figure eight, double it, and just slide it on. Then you're going to take just one more black and take it and put it on this peg. So it should look something like this once you're done. Doesn't look like much yet, but just stick with me. So, usually you need a cap band. I'm not using a cap band for this because you just. I'm using a cap band, so. Just, I'm doubling another black band and I'm simply sliding it onto the peg if it. Make sure that it's still doubled when you put it on. And since I'm not showing you how, you're going to double it. Slide it onto your peg. Go on the peg like that. It's doubled. Whew. Okay, so like that. Go down in this cap band that you just applied. <laughs> it will stop giving me issues. Grab this. Okay, so no, this is not a. I did that on purpose to show you how tricky bands are. But, I mean, one part of being a, a loomer, you learn from your mistakes. Any loomer can uh, tell you that. Just go like this and carry it up to the next peg. Then, you are simply going to just go down in this cap band and loom up all your pinks. So that's on uh, two. Go on the peg. Go on the peg like that. Um, okay, go down in, I believe it's this band was next, nope, this band was next, okay, grab it, pull it forward, grab this band, pull it to its peg, this one goes to its peg, and this one goes to its peg. Then you're going to go down in this peg right here, make sure that one stays, and grab your top white, lift it over, up to this peg, make sure all your bands stay on, and make sure that one goes back to where it belongs. Then go back down in this peg, 
grab your white and pull it up to this. Go down. Oh my gosh. Go down in all these. Grab this white and pull it up. Go down in here. Grab this white and pull it up. Do the same on this side. Go down white. Pull up. Down white. Pull up. And your first one should look like that. Then you're just going to go down in here, pull this black one up to this next peg right here. If you don't know where I am, I'm at this peg right here. So I'm going on to this flower. I'm trying to give you guys a farther away view because usually I'm up close and I feel like most people just feel uh, are thinking like, why so close to the camera? Anyways, go down and do the exact same thing that you did in the last peg. Go here. Here, if your cat band comes off, just put it back on there. Go here. Here and here. Then go down. In here, if it'll let me go down, then this peg band, and oh my gosh, grab your red band. Okay, this is getting on my nerves now. Grab this red band. I am so sorry that the camera tilted. And just go down in that exact same peg. Grab this red and put it there. And make sure that both bands stay on that peg. Anyways, now you are going to go down here. Grab the bottom red. Pick up. And move it up, go down in here, bottom red, pick up and put it to the center. Do the same on this side, if you guys can see it. I'm still, I'm so sorry about camera issues and the rubber band issues. I am still trying to work out the kinks of having a YouTube channel because, believe it or not, for those, if any of you guys want to become a YouTuber, it isn't as simple as people make it seem. I should know. So, like, I recommend, because, like, if you have wanted to become a YouTuber, I highly recommend doing it, but you have to be willing to learn, uh, take the time and learn how to edit videos, how to film videos, you have to have the right equipment and the right resources to make thumbnails, which are the covers for the videos, and if you want an intro video, then you have to have something to that with, you have to have the right lighting, the right, the right workspace, like if you want a loom, you have to have the right workspace. You have to be willing to actually take the time and shoot the video. You have to know what you plan, what you're going to say, and all that fun stuff. For me, I find that it gets easier. But anyways, and also, so that's why I'm having issues with the camera. But you want to go down in this peg and grab your first orange. Please tell me it's going to work. And boom, we got the first orange. And lift it over to that side, then go down here, grab this orange, lift it over, go down in here, grab the bottom orange, lift it up and over, then go down in here, grab that orange, and lift it to this peg, go down in this, grab this orange, pick it up to this peg, then do the same right here, and lift it up. Then go down in here, grab your uh, black connector band, and put it there. 
then you are finally at this flower. So, I believe in you, Loomers. I'm going to allow you guys to do this last one for yourself, and I will come back once I have finished it. Okay, so this bracelet has mainly been in real time, so it took me at least, maybe, I want to say 10 minutes to do those, but in real time, this only took me like 3 minutes because I'm not going into depth explaining it. And I'm not talking. So, once you have reached this point of your bracelet, you want to take, um, I'm taking a black band and I'm going to put it down in here. And I'm going to be lifting it, it through all these bands. Make sure that none of them slip and you're just going to simply limit it like that. So, I am... Then just going to do about 10 bands like I always do. So make sure that everything stays on your hook. Like mine just fell, but yeah, that's coming apart. But so that's an example of what happens if your band comes apart. But so go one. Oh my gosh. I'm having issues with this hook and all that. One of my bands came undone. That goes like that. Go here and hook this through all those and just grab it like this. So we are not going to close it off until we actually have all of our bands off of the loom. So I'm just, I prefer to go one peg or at least one flower at a time because unlike all the other bracelets, this one might actually fall apart because these are, have no, the borders are simple just like around specific areas but you know, so because it's like a lot of bands are on each peg but just once you have pulled it off we have our cat band right here so we have that right there and we're just gonna go on this end and, wait, where did my black band go? Go one, that's two, three, four, five, Six, I know most people don't want to sit around and just listen to people count, but anyways, um, okay, so, I'm going to put this, okay, so once you have reached, mm, that's about ten, you're going to take a C or an S clip and you are just going to close this off. Like so. Okay, so, so far we've made and I've dedicated this to Zoe Roberts. It is a flower charm sunflower charm bracelet and this is the sunflower charm. So, and I um, and dedicated this one to Looming Ban Fan. And so, finally, because originally I was going to do just the normal Starburst bracelet, I have decided to make a Starburst hair brett instead. So, for this, you are basically going to... It's a Starburst flower design, so... 
for this you are going to need your border color, which for this one I will be using lavender or violet, whatever. This is violet, okay. So for this, basically you're going to do what you normally do, but instead of going like right now, so that's how you would originally start it, you want to go up Like another that's three and then close it off right here. So then I'm just moving those back over there. You want to take your colors and I'm going to take jelly blue and I'm going to do my first, which is like this. Like so. Any background noises you may hear, please ignore. So like this. Then you're just going to, I'm going to be taking a different color. I'm taking it yellow and you're going to be just basically like trying to connect them so like this so this takes the about a double amount of bands um, if you are counting then you should know but I know that it takes about three cap bands and instead of your normal well it takes about four cap bands because you gotta put one here when you start it one in the yellow flower and one in the blue flower. Then you are going to also need one to put here once you close it off. But anyways, now we are going to do this. So go down in this peg right here. Wait, no, you can't do that yet. You have to go down in this peg first. So Actually, you don't need that. I miscalculated. So go down in here, grab your first band, which would for me is my yellow. Go down, grab this. Oh, it came apart, sorry. Grab this pe band and put it to this peg. Make sure that your cap band stays on the center. Grab this yellow, put it here. Grab this yellow, put it here. Grab the uh, another yellow, put it here. And then grab your final yellow band and just pull it up. Then I am going to... Go... Instead of doing it like that... We are going to go up and we're putting it like that and then simply oh and make sure that all of these are actually being loomed to in this band so, that one just came off, but make sure it's like that there, this blue is underneath that. Same goes for this one, because I kind of messed up on my layout. Remember, all mistakes made in this video today were staged purpose, uh, purposely for not entertainment but for a learning like a lesson anyways once you made it like that you're going to go down here grab this lift it up 
do the same on this side, go here, then you want to go down in here, grab this band, lift it up, go down this one, lift it up, do the same here. I know I have previously made a hair bow, but this is actually going to be like a hair bow clip. You can use any of the designs that I have made, which go check them out. On my channel, just click the profile picture down below and it will it shall take you there. And if you like what you see, subscribe. And turn on the notification button. Also, like this video. And comment down below that you want a shout out and a notification. Just use the uh, use LTC in your comment and you shall be commented on. Anyways, this bracelet, uh, this thing, uh, this design was dedicated to the questioner who every that is. So, anyways, put off your loom. Like so, make, oh, make sure you put a slip knot in it. So I have to go here. I'm going to grab this side and slide it through, and I'm just going to pull it, and so that is what it should look like once it's done. Then, you will want to take this, and you are just going to simply go here and slide this part in it. Er... Yeah, this part you're just going to slide a couple of the bands onto, and so you're going to go inside this band, and then you're going to slide it through that band, and you have a pop-up starburst hair clip. So. Anyways, this has been three Starburst items, so stay tuned for next week's video and a special message from me. Okay, so next week's video is going to be a surprise. Anyways, Special message from me means basically subscribe, hit the notification button, and comment what kind of bracelets you'd like me to do. And don't forget if you do like subscribe and hit the notification button, or just subscribe and hit the notification button, comment LTC for a shout out and a bracelet notification. Anyways, this has been Lady T on Lady T's Creation. If, if for just any reason, just read the description if you would like to know the names of the bracelets that were made here today. Bye!